"'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. "'The sword and wind nestly all safe in the beds "'with visions of soot from stickling in the heads, "'and Mama and her in the kids now, "'and laid in my cab, "'have just sat down for a long winter's nap. "'When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I went to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Moving on the breast of the new fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to object below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, as he whistled and shouted and called them by name. That's a good moment to grab a cookie, I think. On Prancer, on Vixen, on, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all! Here we go. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying a finger alongside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.